Okay. Well, we did. <laughs> we got we got Floyd Mayweather on the phone. Floyd. It's Floyd himself? Yeah. Good. I don't know. What's up, baby? The one and only. What's up? Talk to me, my man. What's up, Floyd? Hey, oh, you know nothing much laying back in Vegas riding in the car on my way to my little office. Talk Flo a little bit. What's going on? So, Floyd, when you going to fight somebody your own size in the top two? I mean, it's, it, that's not up to me. That's up to me. Yeah, yes, it is. If you want to be great, don't you got to fight the best? Listen, boxing doesn't work like that. <laughs> it did when Sugar Ray Robinson was fighting. Well, well guess what? Boxing has changed in business. Uh, only because of you. I think the world wants to see you fight the best fighters on the planet. Hey, listen, listen. I, At listen, your own size. I, I wanna, listen, I want to fight Miguel Cotto. But guess what? Miguel, Miguel Cotto is with Bob M. Bob M doesn't want to do business with Floyd Mayweather. That's just for start. This is a guy who I used to, this is, this is the promoter that I used to be with. So for starters, you got to learn a business. Pacquiao has a, his promoter is Bob M. So Bob M is putting Miguel Cotto and Pacquiao together to keep money within their circle. If you understand so, this. So, so what's been going on in the last seven eyes in the top two? Okay, uh, well, Baldemir was the undisputed walkaway champion. What are you talking about? Uh, come on, man. Baldemir with 11 losses. and oh, no, what? You just said it wasn't about losses. Now, now it's about losses. Which one? Is it about losses or is it not about losses? Okay. Which one? How about this? Why didn't you fight Margarita when you were offered $8 million to fight him? I, why would I fight Margarita for $8 million when I got $12 million and I was fighting for the title? Who, was you, who were you fighting? Who were you fighting? For twelve million. Uh, that's, that, that's what I fought. Who, who did you really fight for twelve million? I don't believe that. That's a lie. They, they asked me to fight Margarita, but then they brought Bartimir to the table. Once again, Bob M said he give me eight million. They brought Bartimir to the table and offered me twelve million. So what are you talking about? You, you didn't get twelve million. To say. You fought Sean Bay Mitchell for four and a half. No, no, I did not fight Sean Bay Mitchell. I fought Sean Bay Mitchell back in the day. And I didn't get four and a half. I got eight million to fight Sean Bay uh, Mitchell. So what are you talking about? So why don't you want to fight? Why wouldn't? So what do you say? I'm not ducking and dodging nobody. Yes, you, you are. Hear, you, don't, you, you don't hear Miguel Cotto calling me out. You don't hear you don't hear Pacquiao calling me out. Oh, they'd all love the fight. Sugar Shane calling you out. Paul Williams would, would spank yeah, your ass, Floyd. Paul Williams you. would spank your ass. Uh, wait, 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 guess what? It's play, play on my downfall. Just I'm not playing, play. no, brother. Let me tell you, Floyd. <laughs> I'm a, I, I was a big fan of yours. But, Floyd, I was a big, big flip fan of yours, Floyd. I never wanted to see a downfall. When you fought Corrales... I was off two years. There's no different from a, listen, I was off two years. Y'all were just saying, it's not, it's not by way class. Now it's by way class. Now y'all contradicting yourself. Where was That's the contradiction, the brother? Where was the contradiction? Cause, cause you just said that, um, you just said that, um, huh? uh, fight somebody in your way class. Why are you fighting guys that way class? Then you said, oh, this guy jumped from this way, this way what? class. What? This guy jumped from that way class. You sound confused, what? Floyd. The, the one thing you're not talking about. Floyd Mayweather came from a small way class also. Talk about that. I did, I did, and, and Okay, and, okay, and, yeah, how about this though? If, if if Marquez has to go up to fight you, how come you won't go up to fight Paul Williams? Or let Paul Williams, he'd gladly go down to 147 to fight you. Paul Williams, right now, if you call up, Paul Williams will gladly go down to 147 and fight you. Uh, guess what? All, all roads lead to Floyd Mayweather. I ain't got to, listen, I, I've been off two years, and I come back. I ain't got to chase nobody. You see what, you see what Marquez has done to Pacquiao? I ain't got to say he that. Did it at, he did it at three weight classes smaller. He did it at smaller weight classes. Uh, man, now, 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 we, now we're here going weight Hey, hey, look, Floyd, Floyd, you have so much natural talent and ability. You have oh, so man. much natural talent and you know, ability. You, know you can be one of the I'm greats, so, but you have to I'm, prove it. I'm so, I'm so, what, six-time world champion, five different weight classes in ten years? Who else done it like that? You tell me. Hey, hey, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Archie Moore had 100. Wait, 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 you have 35 wait, 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 fights. Archie Moore has 135 KOs. Guess what? I ain't got to do all that. I ain't got to go through all that. Well, so, guess what, you're saying you did so much that other people ain't did. It takes six months to build a pay-per-view fight. That's what you don't understand. Stop building the fight, I'm man. Getting, fight the I'm best. I'm not getting in your way. Listen, I'm not getting in your way trying to control the radio. Don't get in my way trying to control boxing because this is something that I control. That's why you don't control boxing. You just one fighter. You don't control. If you leave, the, the sport still lives on, brother. If, if I leave, the sport is dead. No, that's wrong. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's silly. That's silly now. Your ego is too big, brother. Once, once again, pay view numbers don't lie. Yeah, you got, don't yeah Oscar De La Hoya was your biggest fight because Oscar De La Hoya was in the fight. <laughs> yeah, I, every Oscar De La Hoya fight makes money. So when you fought him, it made money. <laughs> Pay-per-view numbers don't lie. Yeah. Okay, uh -oh. what does that mean? You, you can repeat okay, yourself no, 50 no, no, times. No, no. It still don't mean nothing more special. It was my biggest fight. I was the biggest fight. So what are you saying? So what are you trying to say? Black fighters can't do numbers now? Oh, hey, Hop Shape Hopkins is a greater champion than you, and he's black. All out show. 
Hopkins, Hopkins is the greatest one. fucking champion of this time because he fights every motherfucking buddy and you don't. Hopkins is a champion with a heart. Philadelphia. It's, 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 in, your, it's in your blood. I love Hopkins because that you motherfucker know, you, will you fight know, anybody. He don't give a fuck know, about the know, politics. He'll fight know, everybody. Guess what? Floyd Mayweather is my business. Floyd, I used to love your skills, your talent, but I want to see you fight the best. If you do that, you, you should shut me the fuck up. And fight Sugar Shane. You should fight Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane's big ass. You just one person. I ain't got to shut you up. You just one person. Well, well your legacy is going to be doomed. Like, hey, like, guess what? Hey, guess what? I, I got to be doing something like this. Guess what? Guess what? You on the radio talking about me nationwide. I'm not worried about you. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> it's all good. That's cool. That's cool. But I'm also talking about Corrales. I'm also talking about Paul Williams. I'm, you know, I'm still talking about other fighters. You're not the only one. Corrales is somebody I beat. I mean, keep, keep on. Whatever. Yo, you look like magic, Floyd. When you fought Corrales. And when I, when I beat De La Hoya, they said, Oh, oh, come on, De La Hoya. De La Hoya, come on, man. Look what Pacquiao did to him. Pacquiao whooped his ass way better than you did. And Pacquiao whooped Patton's ass way better than you did. <laughs> but check it out. When you, when you fought Corrales, the undefeated don't mean shit. Mar Marciano's undefeated. Is he better than Ali? Is he better than Larry Holmes? <laughs> undefeated don't mean shit. Don't tell me nothing about the, the Marciano. Is Ricardo Lopez the greatest fighter of all time? He was undefeated. He was, he was one of the best. Yes, he was one of the best. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, he so. Was one of the best. How about, how about, uh, uh, that, that fat Danish guy, uh, Brian Nielsen, when he was 49 and 0? Was he the best on the planet at that particular moment? I don't know who he is. <laughs> exactly, he was 49 and 0. Better record he than yours. Best. Who did he fight, though? He, he went six time world champion and fight him. Yo, right? belts, there's four belts in every weight division. That's why you're six and times. You if you was fighting in the Tommy Hearns division, you wouldn't have six belts. You have one or two. The WBC is official belt. Brother, you ain't no more special than Aaron Pryor. You ain't no more special than mm. Parnell Whitaker. Mm. You ain't no more special. You got to prove that you're the greatest ever to call yourself it's that. Your it's in your blood. Brother, your blood. You, <laughs> when you fought Corrales, you look like magic. You was one of the greatest mother... I couldn't believe how incredible you look. Don't poke it. Pick no wine in my dick and then tell me I'm garbage. I'm poking... Yo, I'm poking your dick from, from 2000. That fight was nine years ago, motherfucker. What have you done since? Wow. Guess what? Is that back and collected? Who's, that, who's the last pound for pound cat that you fought since Corrales? Is that back? Oh, that, was that, was, that was your own size. I just beat the number two bull. At your own size? <laughs> I come from a small way class too. No, 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 no. He had to gain 17 pounds to fight you. Don't even play like that meant something. Shade 45. That fight was a fucking propaganda stunt to make you look down. good. All out show. Tell me. Oh, uh, come on, man. And so, so I guess, I guess since I ain't taking no punishment, I ain't, I ain't a great champion. No, right? you, you don't have to take punishment. Willie Pep didn't take the punishment, but he fought everybody. Yes, because, because I'm so icy because Cotter didn't beat his ass. I mean, because, uh, Pacquiao didn't beat his ass like me. I guess, I guess I ain't good, huh? Yeah, three, 17 pounds heavier, the fat old man. <laughs> man, yo, Marquez was a fat old man, 36 with 17 extra pounds. How the hell was his punches supposed to hurt you at 147? Okay, okay. okay he, he, he's 36, I'm 32. We both in our 30s. There's no difference from a fight. But he had to gain, he had to gain weight, and he was slow, sluggish, and his punches can't hurt you at 147. So it's not by weight. Skills plays the bills. Oh, okay. So why don't you, so, okay, so. You're a good basketball player. You should go fight short Chad Del Dawson. If if weight don't mean something, go fight short Chad De Dawson. What about Sugar yeah, Shane Mosley? It looked like or Chad Dawson. What about Sugar Shane, Shane Mosley? I don't think get away from him. Why won't you fight Sugar Shane? Why are you scared of him? I'm not scared of nobody. You scared of Sugar Shane, brother? Okay. Yeah, uh, no, keep going, keep going. Yo, after, <laughs> after, after you saw what he did to Margarito, you was like, I'm going to chill on Shane. <laughs> Let me fight hey, a small hey, guy. Hey, 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 what, what, what you do your homework? What you do your homework? I, I, I got my homework done. I, 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 I know I, I, more I, I, about I, I, the history than you, Floyd. You know about fighting. I, I, I tried to fight Shane in 1999. Did you check that out? From 99, oh, oh, what? After he lost to Vernon Forrest twice and looked like 90, shit? <laughs> from, from 99, you, you, was, you was trying to fight him when he was on a losing streak, when he looked like no, shit. No, I did not. No, Floyd's re <laughs> Floyd, Floyd rejuvenated his career. Uh, Shane rejuvenated his career since. Floyd, then. When he was on a losing streak. From 99, he did not lose in 99. From 99 all the way to, when he was a lightweight, when I was a junior lightweight. From 99 all the way to 2006, and yeah. he turned me down. All of a sudden, his career is over. His career ain't over. He just whooped Margarito's ass who you were afraid of. How's his career over? He, he whooped Margarito's ass, and you scared of Margarito. So how's his career over? Can I ask you a question? Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Was, was Shane Mosley on steroids or not? His whole career. Answer that question. We're talking wow. about right now. We're talking about right now. That See, you, wow. got, you got a way, an excuse answer to get out of fighting the wow. past. Can you, can you answer that question? Was well, Shane Mosley on steroids? Is he now? Are you afraid of him? And is he now? Listen, listen. 
We're going to make it do what it do. Whoever one, they can get it. Pacquiao, Cotto, Hatton, it don't matter who the fuck Hatton, of course you'll fight Hatton. <laughs> Yo, why don't you fight Hatton again? That's, that, that seems like a Floyd move. <laughs> Oh, we want okay. Hatton again in UK. That's it. Let's do it. Come on, man. Man, yo, honestly, in the nineties you was nasty. Early two thousands you was nasty. You got to show and prove right now, brother. Your great, great Guess skill, what? talent. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm already, I'm already a Hall of Fame as one of the best, and I can retire today, buddy. And, and guess what? You guess what else you need to tell people? That guy ain't only been outboxed by Morales. He's been knocked out twice. For the record, yeah, when he was a little kid, when he was eighteen year old, little skinny kid, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 Who gives a shit? Okay. Yeah, ain't nobody, ain't Sugar Ray Robinson been stopped. What does that mean? Yet. So what? That doesn't mean I nothing. Mean, if you I mean, ain't fighting I'm nobody, talking, nobody's going to beat you. Floyd, oh, if man, you I ain't fighting nobody, I, nobody's going to beat you. Guess That's, what? I, guess what? I can I fight 15 girls years. and be undefeated. <laughs> oh. hey, guess what? Ain't nobody handing me no world title. I'm winning Floyd, the Floyd, you... Let me wow. tell you, your skills, Floyd, me, you're Floyd, great. Your brother. skills Anybody are great, Floyd. Me, your skills are great, you Floyd. Nobody's riding your dick, bro. I'm telling you that you're whack. <laughs> that you're fucking you up you because you're not fighting me. the best. How am I riding your dick if I'm saying you're scared? I say, what about Paul Williams? He's like, oh, he's too big. I say, what about Moldy? Oh, he was on steroids. Uh, what about this guy? Hey, man, Paul Williams just got his ass beat. I'm not scared When did Paul him. Williams get his ass beat? You talking about Quintero uh, a couple years oh, ago? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. All these boys, they beat each other. This dude, they beat each other because they fight each other. You don't fight them. This dude, this dude, this dude, this dude, this dude. Yeah, because they fight each other. You don't fight them. If they fight each other, they're going to lose. If cats fight each other, they'll lose, Floyd. You have to fight. That's because you don't fight nobody. That's oh, man, I just, I just undefeated. I've been, been on for two years. You bet, I'm back. Two years. 18 you months. Look at Hopkins. is 40 fucking four. The guy takes 18 months off all the time. Don't give me that. You're, you're a young man. You can take 18 months off, Floyd. Man, how do you got to be about some motherfucking fighters in the shade, man? Who? Come on, man. Stop. Can I say again? <laughs> man, who else can you be by? What's the motherfucker's name? What do you say? He said, Yeah, you wish you'd fight somebody on a Cal Zaggy caliber. You won't. If you fought Margarito, you would have got your ass whooped. If you fought Paul Williams, you would have got your ass whooped. But you wouldn't have taken the fight. So if Hopkins fights the best, if Hopkins fights the best continuously, if Hopkins continuously fights, yo, Hopkins had. What? It's only one problem. You pay to see me. I ain't never. Been, you already know who you is. I don't give a fuck. I also pay to see fucking uh, uh, every fight there is. I watch every fight there is. That don't matter. I pay to see everybody fight. I love the sport of boxing. Keep, keep, keep going straight. Brother, up. instead of being offended, why don't you take heed and fight the best? It, it, boxing, listen, Yo, in ten years you're gonna look down to you're gonna look at your past. Like that. Yes, boxing it does. Yes, work it does. Like you think it works. yes, it does. Yes, listen, it does. Everybody you talking about has a boss. Boy, they don't have Who a gives boss. a shit? But you're not fighting the best. Your legacy yes, will be scarred for life. When you're fucking fifty right, years old, right. you're gonna look at your legacy. Cats are gonna say he ducked and ducked people, and they that is what that. you're they gonna have to. Right they're not saying it right now because there's a lot of hype and gloss around you. Guess what? Word of mouth don't pay bills, my man. Word of mouth don't pay bills. So don't give a fuck what you say. Word of mouth Legacy, don't brother. Don't be offended. Fight the best. Your bills are paid, though. You're rich now. Yeah, exactly. You're rich already. Now fight the best. You're rich already. You counted a million dollars on YouTube, how come, how come you won't fight somebody in the top two in your own weight class? Guess what, man? How come everyone you fight is smaller <laughs> or older than you? I'll be the number two pound for pound, dude. I'll be the number two, dude. 17 pounds smaller than you. Oh, Here, answer this one qu one question, Floyd. One question. How come you won't find some fight anybody smaller, uh, uh, your own weight? You ain't saying about me coming up from a small weight class. Get Floyd man to come up from a small weight class. Nigga left right here. Yeah, yes, you came up from weight classes and you worked that weight and you didn't come up in three months. You came on ten years, five years, three years, no, five no, years no, like no, that. No, no, no. Pacquiao let's came up from 106. No, no. No, no, let's, let's, get this, let's get this correct. Most of my career was fought, I, I fought at 130. That's most of my career. And right? then you grew up a little bit. Your body got bigger. It happens to fighters. No, no, I jumped up because I wanted to. Cause it was and fun. your body got bigger with age. I, but, I, but I make it look so easy. Uh, Pacquiao started at 106, man. Yo, look at Chet Pacquiao's resume compared to yours, brother. <laughs> What, get knocked out twice? Oh, no, look at, the, <laughs> look at his competition. Why, like the Philippines, because we know the Philippines got the best enhancement drugs. Is that what you Oh, oh, <laughs> now that yeah. thing, go. Floyd. Please let me know. Please let me know. The Floyd. Best Listen, Floyd. So you saying Pacquiao's yeah, real quick. On, uh, taking enhancement? All, all you need to do is learn, learn the sport of boxing. Learn the sport of you, boxing. You I know the history. Do what I do. Do what I do. 
Do it. Why? Do what I'm I not do. Brian Kenny, you can't talk to me like a little bitch, like I'm Brian Kenny. Like Brian, you're listening to me because I'm the fighter and you ain't shit. Because motherfucker, I know the history. I know the history of the sport. Guess what? If I say you a bitch, I'm gonna talk to you like a bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I see, see, the thing is, Floyd, I'm not going to talk to you back like that because that looks like, because we're not face to face, and me talking shit to Floyd Mayweather over a microphone is some pussy shit. So I'm going to go, oh, yeah, Floyd, you're a bitch. I'm not going to say that shit. Uh, you know, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anybody. What you going to do, punch me in the fucking head? I'm not afraid of you, Floyd. Man, listen, maybe you know I'm only going to ask for money. If it ain't for the money, I'm going like, to... Yeah, <laughs> Bro brother, there's no reason, no, no, you know, uh, there's no reason to be offended and say you're listen, a bitch. Wait, 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 don't, listen, don't say already or knock me and me, my hustle. I, well, not, why, not, why does it have to be a hustle? Why don't you want to be considered the greatest that ever lived? Why don't you want to be? I am. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah. No. I'm how not. the fuck? How can you say that? You don't have to be crazy, man. How can you say that? I like Sugar Ray Leonard better. Than Sugar Ray Robinson. Are you, talking about, are you talking about Sugar Ray Leonard? The one got beat by Camacho, which was a lightweight, right? Yeah, and forty. He was forty-one years old. He lost he to Camacho everybody. at forty-one years old. He, hey, he, shouldn't have got in there. he shouldn't have got his ass in there. You know you ain't. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. That's what you do. Don't take a hard fight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in there. Don't get in there. Quit. Quit. <laughs> you right. That's what you supposed to do. Go in there and get. Go in there for thirty minutes to get forty minutes. Hello, anybody on the phone? <laughs> Who gives a fuck about phone? money? You're rich already. Legacy, hey, brother. What? I will, hey, what? Floyd, I will get rid of yours. That's why you remember. You remember this. Legacy don't pay bills. You remember, you but you're rich that. already. You but you're rich already. Are paid, though. When you're, you're rich paid. already, Floyd, you're gonna be dead in the ground, and motherfuckers ain't gonna be talking about you no more. I don't give a fuck. Okay, that. okay, so that's why you fight pussies. No, no, and guess, well, guess what? Guess what? You don't beat six. You don't beat six world champions fighting pussy, my man. Six with, with, with four, with, wait, wait, four wait, wait, titles in each way you collect. I, I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you a question. Where you from? Suffolk County. What is that? What is that? Suffolk what County, that? Long Island, home of Rock Kim. Public enemy. Are you, are you saying New York? Yeah. I guess that is, uh, Zab Judah was the best that y'all had to offer, right? You see what I did here, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you fought him right after he lost to Baldemir. That was that, that. You put your balls on your table with that one. <laughs> he lost to Baldemir. You're like, let me fight Zab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big ass gloves too, y'all. You, you, you said Baldemir was the shit. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was embarrassing when Zab lost to him because Baldemir wasn't shit. <laughs> I'm about to go to my lawyer. I'm going to talk to you later. All right, be good. Keep, keep riding, keep riding, my Fight somebody good, brother. <laughs> Fight somebody good. Take care of that tax. Shay 45? Oh, wow. That Floyd Mayweather versus Ari the Rugged Man. You, oh, why hey, every you know time you like got a, me on here, you got me I, fucking... Uh, that's why, that's that's first you first you me and you had to get in an argument. Now you gotta argue motherfucking Floyd yeah, Mayweather. What's Which, going hey, on here? Oh man, that's already right, the rugged man. Plug plug your fucking record because oh, you know it's just gonna be on the internet tomorrow. And it it's in stores <laughs> everywhere. Buy that shit. Hey, already right, the rugged hey. man. Real talk, man. Uh, nah, you know, all right, all you know right. That was eloquently you was you was eloquent, and you you told him what he needed to hear. Because I bet you a lot of people don't tell him the that. Problem, right. The problem with Floyd is he's so fucking gifted and talented. The motherfucker is so nasty, but he won't test himself. So we will never know how good the motherfucker really is until he does. When he was fighting people in the late nineties, he was the guy looked like magic. And now he's do Roy Jones did the same shit for the second half of his career. Roy was magic, and then the second half of his career he was fighting like you know like like dudes that nobody even gave a shit about. Started rapping, and then it got so late in his career that he started getting knocked out, and now his legacy's tarnished. You know, why the fuck would Floyd want to tarnish his legacy? Just and, and motherfuckers don't look down to you if you lose fights, if you have no nope. incredible. Wars, or, or or if you have incredible um um challenges, and, and you you go, go to the reason Ali is great is because he had challenges in his career. Uh -huh. He fought George Foreman, who was supposed to whoop his ass. Uh -huh. George Foreman knocked Frazier the fuck out, uh, knocked Norton out quick and easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And and then what did Ali do? He shocked the world, and he fucking beat the dude. So when 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 Floyd goes, oh look, that fight is no good because he got knocked out. Oh, that fight is no good because he got knocked out. Uh -huh. That don't mean shit. Styles make fights. God damn. All right, the rugged man. Thank you for coming on. That's all right, the rugged man. Thank you, all right. Check out his shit. He's got a, a website. He's a, what is it, what did you say? Oh, the, I was going to go. Ari's a student uh, in, in boxing. He he loves boxing, and it was good to have you and uh, Floyd Mayweather talk to one another yes. about boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. And hopefully, hopefully, I would love to see Floyd Mayweather fight somebody that, that might could beat him, too. 
Yeah. Or, or at least where when the fight's about to go on, you're like, who's going to win this fucking fight? Mm -hmm. Like the Pacquiao Cotto fight. We don't know who's going to win that fight. Yeah. Let's have Floyd in a fight like that. We're like, who the fuck's going to win this fight? Mm -hmm. And don't give me no fake 24 7 shit where you act like the other guy's an opponent. Like, <laughs> look, look, hat and drinks beer. He'll fuck him up. You know, like, yeah. don't give us the shit. Just, just let's make it real. Floyd Mayweather going to the store. <laughs> From the 745. <laughs> All right, all right, be easy, dog. Thank you, thank you for having me. Shave 45, stay tuned. It's all out, y'all. Felt and he's not used to people telling him the truth, so you know, got a little heated and, and it was funny. And I schooled him on a little bit of boxing history, you know. I now, nah, what happened is I was on Shave 4 5 promoting my record, Legendary Classic Volume 1, R.A. the Rugged Man, and uh. And they say, oh, let's talk about boxing. So I said, you know, Floyd is uh, one of the most gifted fighters out there, but he's been ducking people and not fighting all the best guys anymore. He stopped fighting the best guys after 2001. And it's a shame because he's so naturally gifted. So he got pissed off and he called up the radio show to prove me wrong or something. But I proved myself very right, you know, and he couldn't answer any of my questions. I said, yeah, we argued for about 20 minutes. I said, I said, yo, man, when are you going to fight somebody your own fucking size that's a top, top three pound for pound in, in your weight class? Fight somebody in your own weight class or somebody your own age. If you fight someone his own size, it's got to be somebody that's washed up or it got to be somebody that's past his prime. I mean, we got to be somebody that's little or half his size, and, and that's not cool. Like, you know, great fighters want to fight the toughest challenges on the planet. His name's Money Mayweather because he's about the money now, and he doesn't care about legacy. He's made that clear to me. Like, you know, fight, fight them all. Fight everybody. Fight everybody who thinks they can whoop your ass. That's a top pound for pounder. In your weight class, though. So, hey, you left it off of him hanging up? Nah, he, uh, he argued, 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 and, and I shut him down. Anything he said, I shut it down. You know, he said, oh, I'm the best of all time. I said, man, you got 35 fucking fights. I'm like, Archie Moore had 135 knockouts. Come on with that best of all time shit, you know? I said, well, what, what makes Floyd Mayweather any better than Aaron Pryor? Or any better than Pernell Whitaker? Or any of that shit, you know? Sugar Ray Leonard knocked people out. Floyd doesn't. You know, like, like what makes Mayweather the best? It's his head telling him that shit. I, I, and the problem with that is I, I'm a huge, I was a huge Floyd Mayweather fan in my day. When he first was coming up, the dude was, a, the dude was uh, incredible and he fought everybody because he wasn't rich yet, you know? He knew he had to fight everybody. And I'm a fight fan and I want to see the best fights that could be possibly made, not this like, you know, oh, I'll fight the easiest fight for the quickest payday and, who, you know, I'll come out of retirement to fight somebody that's three weight classes smaller than me and act like I fought the best. It's all a bullshit HBO gimmick. Now, we got into it. He was calling me a bitch and I was calling him, uh, said he was scared of everybody. It was got to that, you know, but... It was over the phone, so what are you going to be, tough guy over the, oh, Floyd? I, I said, Floyd, what are you going to do, punch me in the face? I said, I said I'm not scared of anybody. Uh, what, what do you want, punch me in the head then, you know, what do you, what do you want to do? I, I don't give a fuck about him. Fight the best fighters in your weight class, and, the, and then you'll shut me the fuck up. And the thing is, Floyd is so naturally gifted, he has a chance of beating the best. It's not a definite that he'll beat the best, but he has a chance because he's that gifted. But was why? He willing to take that risk? Exactly. Look, look, this guy. <laughs> was he willing to take that risk? No, he had not. Not if. No, 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 no. He won't on. even for the money. Margarito no, offered him. Depending on. Nah. Depending on where he stands with He this? doesn't care about the money. Yeah. Margarito offered him eight million dollars to fight him back in the day, and he instead fought. Uh, Sean Mitchell because he didn't want to be embarrassed, baby. Uh, Legendary Classics Volume 1, the R.A. the Rugged Man collection is actually in stores this week. Check out the video for it. R.A. the Rugged Man Legendary Classics music video. Go to YouTube or wherever you got to go to see that. And uh, go to the store and buy it. And uh, Floyd, man, people love you. Just prove it. Just prove that you're as great as you say you are. Sugar Ray Robinson fought everybody. Sugar Ray Leonard was fighting everybody. Hagler was fighting everybody. Hopkins was fighting everybody. The greats fight everybody. Let's do it. Just, just fight the best.